Hi Capricorn, I will be doing a six card spread for the month of January. Thanks everyone who has been liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you had a lovely new year and we'll get straight into it for Capricorn. So love appears to be a very big theme for you, but we'll start off with the two of wands on the first top card here. So the two of wands indicates travel, uh, looking further ashore, planning a holiday, uh, getting involved with someone who's potentially foreign. So I feel as though with the two of wands, you're really thinking about taking a holiday. You're really looking at your options. This is, this is you feeling excited this is you feeling uh, as though you're looking to to foreign shores of some sort I feel as a travel will be a theme for you in January 20 you planning a holiday planning a, a little holiday a trip somewhere by the water somewhere by the coast I feel as though this will do you good in January if this is what you are thinking about please do so it will do you good not only mentally it will do you good uh, with your relationship as well if you go with your partner this would be a beautiful uh, little getaway for the both of you but this in love this could indicate that you have a person coming in for you or somebody that's coming through quite strongly around you who's from a foreign background or is visiting on a holiday in the country where you are and I feel as though there will be there will be a strong love connection with this person here with a foreign background and I feel as though it could either be an air sign or a fire sign, this person. But fire appears to become more stronger than air. But again, in regarding work, this could be that you're working online. You're going to start working for a corporation that has different branches online. You're working, you might be offered a role uh, to travel, an autonomous uh, traveling role uh, as a sales rep or someone working uh someone opening new stores overseas it could very well be that something to do with traveling traveling for business traveling for love or planning travels you could be planning a lot of travels this year but moving on we have the two of cups a beautiful card of love union togetherness uh, solidifying a relationship again I feel as though if you'd want to travel with a partner perfect to do so because the ace of swords the lovers and the two of cups indicates this will bring you a lot of happiness togetherness intimate uh, times passionate sexuality it will bring you in your element with your partner and just it will just be pure bliss if you decide to do this with your partner so I would advise you do that but the two of cups also indicates some sort of meeting face to face again reinforced by the lovers card down here so you could be traveling overseas in January or planning a trip in January to see a partner that is overseas or you could be meeting someone on your travels someone that will stay with you for a very long time Someone where there'll, there'll be a lot of uh, passionate chemistry. This could also be an affair of some sort. So if you are traveling for business, you might be enticed to, uh, to partake in an affair of some sort. You might meet someone that will surprise you and even seduce you in a way. That, that's possible. But if you are in a relationship, the Two of Cups, beautiful. It just signifies you're very solid at the beginning of the year. You're thinking about making plans with each other. Uh, new, you're bringing new ideas, encountering new milestones, which is reinforced by the Ace of Ace of Wands. Next card over. But if this is re if this is regarding work, this could indicate that you're going to some sort of interview. You have a lot of business meetings, a lot of face to face correspondence and communication with your superiors, your colleagues, your clients, and this could even be uh, traveling for business. That's that's on the, that's on the cards most certainly. But a lot of meetings. You could be um, undergoing a lot of deals in January gaining new clients that that will be quite promising and that will stay with you and expand they will might help you and expand in ways you haven't thought possible or you haven't considered yet but this could be interviews as well because the ace of ones could indicate a new job for you and it will go very very well if if that's what you're looking for if you are looking for this new role i feel as though it will go very well for you and you you will land the job but Ace of Wands is this beautiful opportunity that's coming to you. Again, it could be a travel opportunity in the form of travel. It could be an opportunity in the form of new love, meeting someone overseas, starting a new relationship. In the job front, I feel as though you could be starting a new job and it could very well have to do with something with overseas, foreign shores, different city, different state, traveling a lot for work, working for a business that has many branches overseas 
or it could be working for someone that has a lot of uh, online or is purely an online business and you will get the job and you will be very happy at this job also. Uh, in the Ace of Swords regarding love, again, I feel it's a new relationship that's coming with, an, with a fire or an air sign. And that'll be very passionate, as I've mentioned to you before. Very fulfilling. But moving on, we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is someone who's a master of his thoughts. He knows what he wants. He's got that direction or she has that direction. This could be you. This could be a partner around you. And I feel as though you will be very set in your ways. You know what it is that you want. You have an end goal. You, you want to achieve what you want to achieve. But I feel as though love and travel are coming through quite strongly, more than career. And this could be you're just you're, you're adamant about this person that comes in for you. If you if you're already in an existing relationship, then you're very sure of this person. You've expressed to them how you feel. You feel very solid in your relationship. Or if there's someone new that's coming in, I feel as though this will be someone that is quite witty, someone that is quite intelligent, someone who has had higher learning, uh, comes from a foreign background, is quite uh, experienced, articulate, cultured, worldly. This could be that person. This could be you. This could be you becoming this person because of all your travels this year or around this month. You could just feel very worldly and cultured in yourself. But that's beautiful. I feel as though this person that's coming in for you, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of opportunity with this person. You you will travel with them. Uh, they will teach you things. They're undergoing study or they're very established or high up in their career. Academically quite smart. Uh, very passionate. I feel as though this person is the full package that's coming for you if they're not already in your life with the King of Swords. But if this is regarding work, then I feel as though you're very, you're, you're being acknowledged at work. You're very precise. You're very deliberate. Again, you're gaining a lot of clients reinforced by the Two of Cups, the Lover's Card, Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. Very successful at work uh, this month. So if the, you have the option to stay home and relax or to work, if you'd like to choose to go to work early, I feel as though that will be very beneficial for you. I'm not sure when it is that you start work, but I feel as though now would be a very productive time. I feel as though you'll have a lot of correspondence when you come back to work. A lot of emails you'll have to check up on, a lot of meetings you'll have to organize, a lot of Skype calls, meetings face-to-face, -face, interviews, if you're in recruitment perhaps. But definitely a lot of opportunity around you at work. And now is the time to propose new deals because the Ace of Wands, King of Swords, you need to take the initiative and you need to take it now in January. This is the time. It's ripe and ready for you to do these things. So I would highly suggest you put your best foot forward and look to expand because you will be doing these things and it will become very fruitful. You're meeting with a lot of people here. But moving on, we have the Lovers card and that's a beautiful card of union, sexual passion, uh, love and it's it's wonderful to see that you have a beautiful angel blessing this union here with the two the the lovers card so if you do have a love in your life i feel it's blessed the angels are blessing this union it's it's very blissful you're very happy ecstatic almost just really happy in your relationships this month and i hope this theme stays with you january is always a big indication of what's what's ahead for the year to come but love seems to be quite prominent for you, definitely in January. Again, this could indicate you meeting someone from a foreign background, going traveling with someone and just having, you know, a lot of intimate times with this person, dinner, dates, traveling, sightseeing, hiking, talking with one, one another, going to a retreat together. And I feel as though this person might surprise you in some way, which is indicated by the High Priestess. There could be some sort of engagement that might be, you could be getting engaged in January. The High Priestess is someone that hasn't reached, she's almost, she reminds me of the Delphi Oracle in ancient Greece. She's someone that hasn't revealed something yet. She needs to find a way to do this. So the universe will find a way to reveal something to you. And it could very well have to do with this relationship that's happening here. Something will be revealed to you on a, on a trip somewhere with a partner. Or this could all, the high priestess could also indicate you meet this person completely unexpected on travels, during work, doing your own thing. And then the next thing you know, this person has come into your life, has changed things, will change you. But I must mention as a precaution here, the high priestess is so it always comes with a bit of mystery. So again, this could mean that you might take part 
in uh, some sort of affair, something that's quite taboo, someone that's quite mysterious, someone that doesn't reveal themselves completely to you. That's certainly possible. The High Priestess is someone who... There's a bit of duality. There's a bit of mystery. I feel as though there's something hidden with this person that they won't reveal to you just yet. So it may all seem very lovely and you're very intimate and you're opening up to each other and you're feeling very blissful. But if you have been with this person for quite some time, I feel as though something about them will be revealed with the High Priestess. And it could be a darker side. It could be a different side to this person that you haven't yet seen before. Something regard something comes to light regarding love, some sort of mystery, mysteries revealed in love. But there's a bit of duality with this person also. Again, duality is indicated by the two of ones, the high priestess, and again, you've got two sides here. It could be that they just complement you really well. It could be a new client, even, if it's regarding work. It could be a client that comes and balances you out. It could be that you find out something about a business partner, a potential client. And I don't feel as though it will be, it's not a bad discovery. It's not a bad thing that's coming to light here. I just feel some sort of mystery will be revealed. Some sort of opportunity might come to you that's just completely out of the blue with the client or with the customer, or with the boss. They may offer you a higher role. It's something that qu comes quite unexpectedly in January and it could be regarding love. You could be surprised with the partner or it could be regarding work, some sort of creative pursuit. Also, you may, I feel as though you might be very guided by your intuition and please listen to it. I feel as though it will guide you in the right places it needs to. It will bring you new clients, new lovers, new people, new ways of thinking, new ideas, new travel opportunities. I feel you really need to get in touch with that, uh, this intuition. But I just want to see, because love seems to be quite prominent for you, what's going on in your love situation? What will this bring you? This love situation that's happening for you here, this togetherness, this union in an ex existing relationship or a brand new one, a new person coming in quite strongly here. What will it bring you? This union. Luxury. So we have the Priestess of Luxury. Again, this reinforces that you'll be going on some sort of luxurious holiday trip away with the partner. You could be planning it now when you end up going between the dates of September 2nd to September 29th. But with luxury, it's not necessarily luxury in the sense where we have beautiful homes, hotels. Luxury just means having the finer things in life the finer relationships in life, something that's more enlightened, something that's more open, something that's more free. It could very well be that you do go on a luxurious trip, but I'm seeing as though this relationship will open a lot of things for you, a lot of doors for the both of you, and you will enjoy the finer things. You will have reached a certain enlightenment in this relationship of some sort. This could indicate that there's luxury surrounding this person. This person could be quite affluent. This person could travel a lot, live a very luxurious lifestyle and take you with them, most certainly. But I'm just interested in this new opportunity here with the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess. What's this new opportunity coming for you? What's this new opportunity that's coming for you in January? What will it bring you? Okay, so we have the Priestess of Healing. So this opportunity brings you healing. This could be that you meet a new partner or you encounter a new job. This opportunity could be a new part, uh, a new a new lover or it could be a new job and I feel as though it will bring you healing. If this is a, uh, a new partner that's coming in, it will bring you healing from a previous relationship that may have been abusive or just unfulfilling. But this could also indicate it's bringing you healing in a job situation. It could very well indicate that you're, you're moving jobs, you're changing, you're healing from a job. Maybe you've been hurt by some colleagues, you've been gossiped about or something or something like that. This could indicate change because, again, we have beautiful angel. We have an angel here. We have another angel here. So you are being looked after. You are being uh, guided by your spirit angels or whatever it is that you believe in the universe, spirit guides, people that have passed on. Whatever it is that you that resonates with you, then that you're certainly being guided in the right direction. And I wish you the best of luck in your relationships and this brand new opportunity in uh, January.